Hey, with Silver Rock head coach Noreen Herlihy, a 1-0 win over Westchester. You complete the weekend sweep, six points on the weekend in PSAC games. Overall thoughts on today's performance? Well, obviously, John, we're very happy with the win. You know, it's a massive result today against a great Westchester side. You know, they're, we're all competing and vying for spots, especially, you know, in the postseason. But uh, couldn't be more thrilled with the result, to be honest. And uh, it was a uh, difficult conditions with the wind, you know. It was a... Uh, huge factor in the game but uh, we, we did enough to get, just get the result you know on the day. And the win today also guarantees a berth in the PSAC playoffs this year. Looks like the number two seed right now with two games left in the regular season. Talk about the, the way the team has put together this stretch here. Seven consecutive wins now. Well, we don't want to jinx it, of course, but, you know, but uh, we're, we're playing reasonably well, you know, I can't fault the, the players for what we're doing, you know, I think just, you know, there's a lot of things we've talked about that we need to continuously improve on coming down the stretch here, we still feel there's a lot of improvement, uh, you know, um, for this team, and uh, they're willing to uh, take that on the chin and uh, keep moving forward, but, uh, you know, it's, it's a great stretch, John, because as you know, we lost some key players last year and we have some young players that are really making a huge impact. And, you know, we, we lack that bit of experience at times, but, uh, you know, with our decision making. But overall, hey, we can't be complaining too much here. We're, we're still uh, doing very, very well. And the goal today came off the foot of Allison Harbert, a perfect strike to the upper 90. Talk about her play. She's really emerged as a leader in the midfield, as, just, as, as just a sophomore. Yeah, you know, it's funny because more and more we have experience, you know, when we look at talk about experience, we're talking a lot about our sophomore class, you know, as well. But uh, Bart is a great player, you know, she her work e ethic is phenomenal. Her, You know, she just, the way she glides all over the field, she covered the ground she covers for her teammates is phenomenal. So it was just very deserving today that she actually scored the winner as well. Uh, so, uh, but she's a great kid, has a fantastic future, Alison Harbert, and is just a great, great team player and a wonderful young woman. Now, moving ahead, you'll have one more game, the NSCAA TV Game of the Week, a televised game on Wednesday against Millersville at home. Then you'll close the season on the road at, Ch at Chippensburg next, next week before the playoffs. Where's the mentality of the team and the focus right now? Well, I think we're just going to enjoy and embrace the results this weekend. It was good. It was a tough weekend, you know, back-to-back -back games yesterday and today against two quality sides. So, you know, we'll just kind of, um, hopefully tomorrow now we're off and then uh, maybe have a late session on Monday and really focusing again on Tuesday for the, the Wednesday game. You know, Middlesville is a good side. You know, they've had some um, difficult results. Uh, they've had some great results, you know. So, uh, you know, it's like the league. It's typical, you know, anybody can knock each other off on any given day. And so we got to be ready and fully focused. And the fact that it's been um, a highlight spotlight game with the NSCA is, is huge. And hopefully the players will be up for it. Great. Congratulations, Coach. Thanks a lot, John.